You've got to be hungry. Stop sleeping so Stop damn sleeping. much. Stop sleeping so damn much. If you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. Stop sleeping so damn much. Yeah. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. Stop sleeping so damn much. that empower you why is it that you deserve your goal what are the five reasons that you won't give up when life catch you on the blind side when the messenger of misery visits you what are you going to do what will keep you in the game when life knocks you to the canvas see the buster douglas that fought in the last fight was not the buster douglas that fought mike tyson See, the Buster Douglas that got knocked down while fighting Mike Tyson had gotten out of an alcohol recovery center. His mother had died. His wife was ill with a terminal illness. He was considered a nothing, a bum. So when he got knocked down, Buster Douglas had a reason to get back up because he said, I'm dedicating this fight to the memory of my mama. But when he fought the last fight that he had and he got knocked down, and he had a guaranteed $24 million in his pocket. <laughs> Whether he got up or not, he just said, hurry up and count me out. <laughs> and I don't blame him. Why get hurt? He said, no, why'd you leave so soon? Somebody's about to get hurt, me. <laughs> So you've got to have some reasons that when life knocks you down, and it's going to, hello, it's going to knock you down. When people disappoint you, and that's going to happen. When they betray you, and that's going to happen. When they lie to you, and that's going to happen. When they say, oh, you can count on me, and they won't show up, and that's going to happen. When you want to throw in the towel and give up yourself, and that's going to happen. When life collapses on you and catch you on the blind side, and drop you to your knees and start choking you. You got a dream? No, I ain't got no dream. <laughs> and that's going to happen. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. Because when life had knocked me down, I said, life, I'm doing this because I want to make my mama proud of me. I'm doing this because I want my children to have a better life than what I have. I'm doing this because all my life I've been told I'd be a loser, that I wouldn't make it. All my life I heard people say, maybe take them back to the welfare department. I'm doing this to make them a lie. I believe like Frank Tanatra, he said, the best revenge in life is massive success. I'm doing this so I can become massively successful. And with that kind of courage, with that kind of affirmation and reason to empower me, I got a saying that when life knocks you down, try and land on your back if you can look up, you can get up. So when you run out of money, when things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong, that can keep you in the game, that will be your rod and staff to comfort you, that can be your bridge over troubled waters? Those reasons are very important. Nietzsche said, if you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. So find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight, that will make you pursue your dream when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for or people that stand to benefit the most or people who should be the number one members in the encouragement club when they end up saying you can't do it and they become members of the discouragement club. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. Have people that you love close to you that look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? I said, but this is my life. I have got to do this. Les, you had a good job at Sears. <laughs> that man like you. <laughs> Mama, I can't go back to see. I can't, I can't do I, I got to be my own boss. I, I can't do that. I mean, you know, it's, it's, ladies and gentlemen, you know, when you work on a job that's dead in, you, it, you can see the ceiling already. It's like going in the middle of a movie. And after you've seen the movie, sitting back through that over again, there's something missing. You know the hero is not going to die. You know what the outcome is already. And so that's why a lot of people, a lady was telling me, she said when she went to work, it's like a refrigerator fell on her shoulder as soon as she stepped in. Because she knew she, she'd gone as far as she could go. 
See, they're paying her just enough to keep her from quitting, and she's worked just hard enough just to keep from getting fired. How many of you know people like that? Raise your hand. One of you didn't raise your hand, you the one. <laughs> I'll just tease it, I'll just tease it, all right? Here's something else. Make a commitment to be happy. See, you know, I have you laughing a lot. See, life is too short going through it looking hopefully tired and ugly. <laughs> Sometimes we take life too seriously. Oh, no. Make a commitment to be happy. Find little things just to get tickled about and laugh find ways to be happy in the moment a lot of people say well i'll be happy when i pay off all my bills no 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 i'll be happy when i get my divorce oh no 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 i'll be happy with the children gone oh no no you want to be happy now see there are no guarantees no one say you're going to be here two three or four years from now so you want to be happy right now in the moment repeat after me i must make a commitment, I must make a commitment. To, be happy. to be happy right now right now right now, right now. All I, got. all I got. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you deserve to be happy. <laughs> Make a commitment to be happy because life now has new meaning for you. Just enjoying the sunset or just looking at life, looking at nature, going for a walk. It's the little things in life that counts. Here's something else that you want to begin to do in order to make this your decade. You want to begin to get all the toxic people out of your life. Hello. Energy drainers, get them out of your life. See, ladies and gentlemen, it takes a lot of energy to reach your goal. It takes a lot of emotional, mental, and spiritual energy to reach your goal. Change your thinking. You will change your world. Monday, I cry. Tuesday, I grind. Wednesday, I grind. Thursday, I grind. Friday, I grind. Saturday, I grind. Sunday, I grind. And that's why I'm here today. And listen to me, your problem is...